You know, the standing water from all these afternoon thunderstorms is prime breeding ground for mosquitoes. I can't stand them. When you add that mm -hmm. to the upcoming West Nile virus season and just the aggravation really of getting bitten, you may be looking for ways to be less attractive to mosquitoes. Meg Ferris has some help. Is it true that some people are mosquito magnets? People say mosquitoes bite me more than they bite anybody else. Well, that, that could potentially be true. Let's start with Mosquito Biology 101. Only females bite you. They need your blood so their eggs can mature, then be laid in water. There are two main reasons why she finds you. All of us produce body heat, and all of us produce carbon dioxide in our exhaled breath. So those are the most important uh, attractors. You can't change those, but what about the things you can? They're attracted by per perspiration. They're attracted by hormonal smells. Uh, they're attracted by um, uh, perfumes and uh, hairsprays and deodorants. LSU public health expert Dr. Jim Diaz says being diabetic or pregnant could make your skin more appetizing. So could floral products since they eat nectar from flowers. But not for everyone. A new very small study out of Virginia Tech found it depends on how your personal scent interacts with products. Still, Dr. Diaz says some floral scents are known to repel the biters. Native Americans learned a long time ago that if they picked chrysanthemums or mums and rubbed the flowers on their skin, uh, they would keep uh, mosquitoes from biting them. We know DEET works, but it's a myth that Skin So Soft does. It is really, really good for gnats or noceums. It does not work well for mosquitoes at all. And by the way, rubbing alcohol on the skin or the smell of alcoholic beverages coming from your skin well, even New Orleans mosquitoes will tend to stay away from those. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.